Hey guys, welcome to another behind the scenes video. Today I'm going to be doing uh, Dr. Britt Baker. We're going to do a curb stomp on Dashita. Uh, I know it's topical if I had Riho to use, but I will not be my, buying a Riho figure. I, <laughs> I just won't be doing it. So we're going to be doing a curb stomp. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I'm going to show you guys the behind the scenes of my um, shots and then we'll go through and show you the final shots. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get this shot started and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, I just wanted to show you how I'm going to be displaying Sheeta. I'm not using string for Sheeta, I'm simply using a clear, a little clear gimmick there and then I'll edit that out in post. But I wanted to kind of try and do a curb stomp like we saw last night on AEW Battle of the Belts where they really take it right on the front of their face. Um, Riho took one pretty good, so I'm going to try to have Britt um, coming down like this and I'm gonna have to pose it where it looks like she's really coming down so I'm gonna use string for Brit but I just wanted to show you guys the current sheet is set up and go from there all right guys I got the shot set up kinda I'm not completely satisfied with it I need to position Brit a little bit more but I just want to show you guys how I do it tie some clear fishing line around the underneath her hair you can actually pop their head off too and tie it and then put it right on there I'm having the worst time positioning her foot so actually you guys can see I actually had to get some tape and put it under her foot I'm gonna bang around a little bit with her posing until I get this perfect but I finally had this set up where it was holding so I wanted to show you guys more but I need to get Britt looking down more and looking towards her more so it's probably gonna take me a few more minutes but I just wanted to show you guys how I do that um, Pretty easy once you get the hang of it, but I'm going to jack around a little bit more with this and then I'll come back. Alright guys, one last video before I show the final product. I went ahead and got a figure stand and kind of put her leg up because I just wanted her to be facing more downward. So I really, really like how this um, turned out like this. Um, I think that the picture is going to turn out pretty well. She's positioned how I want. She's facing downward. Um, it's not perfect. This is a really hard shot to do, but... Um, I'm going to take some pictures and see if I can find one that really fits what I was looking for. So hopefully you guys can see exactly how I did it. I just, I'm using that figure stand for balance. I was going to tie some more string to her other foot, but I can edit out that figure stand. It, you won't even see it in the final product. So, all right, I'm going to go take the picture and then we'll come back and uh, talk about the final result.